Okay, this is uh, Math 55, WAMAP Unit 3, question number 10 of the practice test. And there are a lot of um, fractions involved in the coefficients, so I think there are going to be a number of those on the midterm. So um, it's kind of frustrating to have to work through them, but um, as you get better at the practice test, you will do better on the midterm. So um, we'll just keep moving ahead. And I'm just going to plow through without, um, we won't convert all of these fractions at the beginning. We're just going to wait and see what happens. So we have 1 quarter x plus 5 eighths is equal to 5 twelfths. Okay, and what is x? We're going to solve for x. So let's start just by getting rid of this 5 eighths here from both sides. And 5 eighths minus 5 eighths is easy. That's 0. That leaves 1 quarter x. And that's equal to 5 twelfths minus 5 eighths and that's a little harder right we got to um, whenever you add or subtract numbers in math um, they have to have something in common they have to be like terms before you can subtract them right they have to have the same units and with fractions the denominators have to be the same so we've got 8 and 12 and we need to find a denominator that works for both of those so one one thing you can do is do a, I'm going to just do a prime factorization. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Divided by 2 again is 2. So 2 cubed, 2 to the third power, is our prime factorization of 8. And then we'll do a prime factorization of 12. 12 divided by 2 is 6. And 6 divided by 2 is 3. So the prime factorization of 12 is 2 squared times 3. So what we have to do with these prime factorizations to find a number that they both go into that's low, the least common multiple. Uh, we've got twos represented, two cubed, and we always want to take the, it's like a sample of things at a table, you want to take the one with the most. So we're going to take two cubed, and then um, we don't have to worry about this two, right? That's already included in two cubed. Two squared is part of two cubed. and um, we we have to take this three because we want to try some of everything. It's like eating all, trying everything on your plate. And if we multiply those two numbers together, two cubed times three, we should get a number that works for both of those as the least common multiple. So two cubed is eight, and eight times three is twenty-four. So twenty-four should be a good um, denominator for these two fractions. To get that, we're going to need to multiply um, five. Over 12 by 2 top and the bottom and over here we're going to need to multiply the top and the bottom by 3 and this works to create a equivalent fraction because 2 over 2 is equal to 1 we're just multiplying 5 over 12 by 1 or the equivalent of 1 and then 5 over 8 we're multiplying by 3 over 3 which is also the equivalent of 1 and what it does is it gives us um, a new version of that number so like saying 100 cents or 100 pennies is $1. Um, 5 twelfths is the same as 10 twenty-fourths. And 5 eighths is the same as 15 twenty-fourths. Okay. So we just rewrote it in a way that uh, allows us to work with those numbers. So 1 quarter x is equal to 10 twenty-fourths minus 15 twenty-fourths. So um, if we want to think of... Um, this is a positive 10 24ths, and this is a negative 15 24ths. We've got uh, numbers with different signs being combined. So we take the difference between those two numbers, which is 5. And then we take the sign of the number that has the greater absolute value. So 15 is bigger than 10. It's negative. Keep the negative sign. And, of course, that's uh, just the numerator. For, oops. Do you have trouble? speaking and chewing gum, walking and talking at the same time, and writing math problems. So 1 quarter x is equal to negative 5 24ths. Okay. So do you remember how we get rid of when there's a fraction as our um, coefficient? Do you remember how to get rid of it? Um, okay, if you don't, I'll refresh your memory. We're going to use the, um, well, we always use inverse operations in algebra, but we're going to use um, 
the reciprocal of this, that's just a fancy word for the reverse. The reciprocal of a fraction, you just turn it on its head. So if we multiply 1 over 4 by 4 over 1, of course we have to do that on, the, on both sides to keep it equal, um, then these two 4s will cancel each other out, these two 1s will cancel each other out, leaving 1, so 1x or 1, and that's going to be equal to negative 5 times 4, negative 20. And 24 times 1 is 24. So we're almost there. What do we have to do next? We have to reduce that fraction. So x is equal to negative 20 over 24. These are both even, so you can just start by dividing out 2s. Let's do that first, because it may be an extra step or two, but you will get there. So divide this by 2, divide this by 2. And so now we're dividing by 2 over 2, which is the same as dividing by 1. And we already know the identity principle of multiplication or division is that a number multiplied by 1 or divided by 1 is still the same number. So that's why we can do this and still have an equivalent fraction. So we're going to get um, this is equal to 10 over, 10 over 12. And those are both even still. So let's do it again and divide this by 2, and divide this by 2, and we'll get um, 5 over 6. And that won't reduce anymore. 5 and 6 are co-prime. 5 itself is prime, and uh, nothing that goes into 5 evenly can go into 6 evenly. So, except for 1. So x is equal to 5 sixths, and you can prove um, that this answer is correct if you um, work it back through that first equation, substitute 5 sixths here, excuse me, negative 5 sixths, transcription error, negative 5 sixths, and um, I think um, when you type that in, you can just do a negative, negative 5 slash 6 and get there. Um, the preview will tell you if it if you've broken any grammar rules, you may need to use parentheses, but um, negative five over six, negative five slash six should should do it. Um, there's also in the up near the top of the page in Canvas, the home page, there's a module where you, it can it will tell you how to type your numbers in um, Canvas, math numbers in Canvas. All right, so I think we're done here. Um, good luck with this. Uh, try this on your own. Try a practice test or try some of the links um, to similar problems and get your speed up, get your accuracy up, and we'll get through that midterm.